This is how to install a Sun Tracker factory boat cover on an 18 foot party barge with a bimini top. You may find this video useful for other models as well. I found that one of the easiest ways to do this is lay the boat cover out in an open area so that you can find the front and back end of the boat cover. The boat cover has markings in the front on a little tab that says front so it's pretty easy to find. After you have it laid out start from the rear end and roll it forward to the front end approximately three quarters of the way. The cover includes a support system which consists of two poles there are two white straps connected to the pole that will be at the front of the boat and two black straps connected to the pole that will go at the rear of the boat and the two poles are connected with a center strap. The purpose of this support system is to have any rainwater flow off of the cover. The white straps are attached to the guardrail on both sides of the front door and the rear black straps are attached to the furthest back supports for the bimini top. The two poles should be vertical and the center strap should be pulled tight so there's little play in the straps. Next, carry the folded boat cover over to the front of the boat, up the ladder and drape it across the boat so that the front hangs down onto the front of the boat. At this point the cover is just resting on the boat and part of the strap which we already installed up top. Here I'm just showing how the setup looks before we get into the actual connection of the uh, cover. You'll notice that there's two arched cutaways on the cover towards the front of the boat. These cutaways are designed to fit around the vertical bumper guards on the trailer. There's two straps associated with each as well. These two straps should be buckled behind and underneath the bumper guards. Just outside of those straps are two more straps. Those can be attached to the pontoon ring. Next, you'll want to go to the rear of the boat, climb up the ladder, get into the boat, and start unfolding the cover. Keeping the cover as centered as possible, slowly unfold the cover, draping it over the sides of the boat and the center strap, which is already in place with the vertical supports. You'll notice that the back portion of the cover has a cloth lining. That cloth lining should line up with the bimini top once it's installed. At this point it's a good idea to go back up to the front of the boat and make sure the front edge of the cover is tucked underneath the front edge of the boat. Take note that the cover will not completely cover the side of the boat but arches upward. At this point return to the rear of the boat and start pulling on the cover. Make sure the seams line up with the bimini top and make sure the side seams line up with the edge of the boat. How things line up should become apparent as you start to fit the cover over the boat. The final step involves latching the two rear hooks around the two rear cleats on the boat. Each side of the cover has a mechanically operated winch to tighten down the cover onto the boat. If the hook won't reach the cleat, it may be necessary to loosen the winch and give you more play so that it'll fit. To release the strap in the winch, look for the two areas pointed out here you have to use two hands to pull on each of those areas pointed out here, pull them down and then pull on the strap and that will release the strap giving more play. Once you have both hooks attached, 
rock the winch mechanism to tighten it. Be sure not to over tighten the first winch, then walk around to the other side of the boat and give it equal pressure, going back and forth tightening them an equal amount. Occasionally, give the straps near the hook a tug to see how tight it is. I should point out the front of the cover has two access points to access the front cleats in case you have your boat covered at the dock. Also, I should point out that you can access the boat underneath the cover if you just undo one of the hooks in the rear and go through the door, you can actually go inside there and check things. To remove the cover, just follow these steps in reverse order. The instructions say this cover is towable in this configuration. I haven't tried that yet, but this is how it looks after it's installed. I hope this video helps.